good. Just tell me a little bit about what it's like operating this. What, well, first of all, what's the machine called? It's about a hundred and eighty thousand dollar piece of equipment. Uh, the technology was a little bit intimidating at first, but I've grown used to, to operating the truck, and uh, it's it's quite a machine. It, it it turns a lot of heads wherever I take it. It's the contractors really like it because it it, uh, it does the job of uh, it. I don't have to have a man on the chute. I can go, I can go back there and run the chute for them. And where was this thing made? Uh, New Philadelphia, Ohio. It's an all Ohio product. The, the, the truck itself was made in Chillicothe. Uh, the, the mixer part of it was made in New Philadelphia and assembled in New Philadelphia, Ohio. And that one was the first production con uh, remote control in the country. So what's the hardest part about learning how to operate the thing? The hand-eye coordination. You have to have, on a job like this, it wasn't bad. There was a lot of uh, lot of room to pour that footer, but on some jobs where you only talk a couple inches of clearance, you gotta really be on the, on the money with the controls. It's, uh, it's touchy, but it's like anything else. You grow accustomed to, to, to your truck and so do you still ever operate a normal truck? That's my truck. I drive that one all the time. How hard would it be to go back to the old style? I'm spoiled. They'd have to get a crowbar to get me out of it to put me back in the old, in the old style truck. But.